it's time for Grand Sumo Highlights. Konnichiwa and thanks for joining us. It's day 14 of the September tournament. Ozeki Goedo is still the sole leader despite losing his last two matches. Yokozuna Harumafuji is right behind Goedo along with a rank and fighter Asano Yama. If Goedo wins and then Harumafuji and Asano Yama lose today, Goedo clinches the championship. Let's find out how things played out on day 14. Let's start out with Kaisei, 8 and 5, meeting Chiyono Kuni, 7 and 6. Speed is the name of the game for Chiyono Kuni. He's just a win away from getting his kachikoshi. Kaisei secured his kachikoshi yesterday. It's his first since January in the top division. Chonokuni explodes into Kaisei. Chonokuni pounds Kaisei. Kaisei resists and Kaisei now returns the favor. Kaisei now knocking Chonokuni back. Chonokuni slips to the side. He keeps up the pressure on Kaisei. And he thrusts down Kaisei. It was a seesaw battle, but it goes to Chonokuni. Shonokuni gets his second consecutive Kachikoshi. Kaisei falls to 8 and 6, but this man, his eighth win of the tournament. Kaisei did his best, still coming up short. It was a hard fought match from start to finish. Look at the thrusting attack by Shonokuni. Shinokuni much smaller than Kaisei, but he doesn't back off. He attacks Kaisei fearlessly. Kaisei resisting. He's not budging anywhere. Shinokuni uses his footwork and speed. There he goes with the elusive attack. He goes after Kaisei, keeps up the pressure, and gets in an inside position right here, drives Kaisei back, and thrusts him down. It's Ikioi versus Daisho Maru. Ikioi is 6 and 7, Daisho Maru 8 and 5. Yesterday, not only Daisho Maru stopped his four match losing streak, but he also got his Kachikoshi. The 30 year old Ikioi has been fighting over 800 consecutive matches without a single day of absence. Daisho Maru goes in hard. Ikioi pulls and retreats. The two separate. Ikioi reaches for a Mawashi grip, but Daisho Maru stays elusive and takes Ikioi down. A Makekoshi losing record for Ikioi, his second straight Makekoshi. In the meantime, Daisho Maru gets his win number nine, nine and five. First, Daisho Maru attacks Ikioi. Bang, and Ikioi, hoping to get some kind of grip on him, slaps. But he fails to bring Daisho Maru down. Now, Ikioi wants to better get a belt grip right here. Once again, he fails to do so, and Daisho Maru right on top of Ikioi. Ikioi loses his footwork, and Daisho Maru circles away. Kagayaki facing off Sadanomi here. Four wins and nine losses for Kagayaki. One, seven, and five absences for Sadanomi. Kagayaki needs to stay low and move with a good footwork in order to beat speedy Sadanomi. Sadanomi finally scored his first win yesterday. He must be breathing easier now. The two are exchanging haymakers. Kagayaki advances. Sadaromi circles away and stays alive. Sadaromi goes deep inside of Kagayaki and marches him out. A nice perseverance by Sadaromi, and he comes out on top. Kagayaki, that's a 
double digit losing record 4 and 10 for the man in gold. Sadanomi wins for the second straight day. Two wins now. The two went after each other hard in this one. Look at Kagayaki pounding away, and so is Sadanomi. Sadanomi has a better footwork, though. Sadanomi escapes and gets an inside position and drove Kagayaki out. Look at the nifty footwork by Sadanomi. Sadanomi knows exactly where he is in the ring, and he gets the job done. Chiyomaru, eight wins and five losses, facing off Shohozan, seven and six. Chiyomaru has become a very consistent performer. He now has scored four consecutive kachikoshi. That's more wins than losses. Shohozan's kachikoshi is right in front of him. Will he seal the deal today? <laughs> The two lock up. Chomaru starts to drive, but it is countered by Shohozan. Shohozan scores his Kachikoshi. Chomaru drops his match for the first time in five days. Chomaru eight and six. Shohozan, congratulations to him. Eight wins and six losses, Kachi Koshi. Shohozan gets an inside position right away. Chomaru locking up Shohozan's arms. He goes, but Shohozan with a nice counter. It is nine and four, Asano Yama, the Shinyumaku rookie, taking on eight and five Ono Show. Asanoyama is one of the only two men with four losses and keeping the pressure on the tournament leader, Goedo. If Onosho wins two more, the 21-year-old can become the first man in sumo history to score double-digit winning record in three consecutive tourneys after breaking into the top division. <laughs> Onosho with a strong stiff arm in the charge. Onosho bulldozes Asanoyama out. Asanoyama suffers his fifth loss. And his championship hopes are starting to fade away. Onosho is the clear-cut winner in this one. Both are 9 and 5 after 14 days. Onosho starts with an aggressive and fast charge. And look at the Nodo with a stiff arm and the follow-through. The hand placement is perfect. Can't do any better than that. Once again, Onosho knocks. Asanoyama backwards immediately and sends him out and he puts Asanoyama away. It's Chiyo Tairyu, eight wins and five losses facing off Endo, eight and five. These two have faced off eight times. They, they tie the series at four and four. One more win will give Endo his 200th career win. Nothing but Kachi Koshi so far for Chiyo Tairyu in 2017. He's become a force to be reckoned with. Chiyo Tairyu hits and pulls, but Endo stays with Chiyo Tairyu, and Endo hits the pull down and sinks. Chiyo Tairyu. Chiyo Tairyu now 8 and 6. Endo goes up to 9 and 5, and also this is his 200th career victory. Show Tairyu attacks, tries to pull down, but it doesn't work. Instead, he gets pulled down. Endo takes the charge. Endo resists. Endo plows ahead. Show Tairyu moves forward, but he gets taken down. It's Ishiura versus Tochinoshin right here. 
Both are 3 and 10 respectively after 13 days. Ishura has got to use his speed, nifty footwork, good technique combination, and then some to beat the much bigger Tochi Noshin right here. Ishura jumps to his left. Tochi Noshin stays in the ring and fends him off. Tochi Noshin now gets an overall grip and they go around and around and Tochi Noshin hurls Ishiura out. What an exciting match. Ishiura came close, but Tochi Noshin takes the match. This will be an interesting Kimari the winning technique. Tochi Noshin, 4 and 10 now. Left hand slap by Tochi Noshin, but jumping to the side by Ishiura. Ishiura wants to go inside, but Tochi Noshin fends him off. Ishiura has a shallow grip. Tochi Noshin now stops and catches Ishiura, the much smaller foe, gets an overarm grip right there and hurls from the outside. That's a Harima Nage, backward belt throw. This is not an ordinary technique you see every day in sumo. But it's one of 82 techniques. There he goes. Koto Shogiku, eight wins and five losses. Taking on Daiei Sho, also eight and five. Maegashira won Koto Shogiku, will more than likely regain his Sanyaku status in the next competition. That's either third highest Sekiwake or the fourth highest Komusubi rank. Daesho is a fireball. He fights without holding anything back. Koto Shogiku catches Daesho and he does not let him go. Daesho tries to escape, but Koto Shogiku charges and shoves him out. Koto Shogiku scores his ninth win. Daesho 8 and 6. This is the type of sumo Koto Shogiku was performing every day when he was an old Zeki Rikishi. Koto Shogiku looking very healthy and energetic this time. Catching Daesho, Daesho tries to slip by Koto Shogiku, but Koto Shogiku keeps Daesho right in front of him and shoves him out. A picture-perfect performance by the former Ozeki Koto Shogiku in this one. See he blocks Daesho's charge. And he starts the drive, and you see the signature maneuver by Koto Shogiku. Here comes the hip-pumping attack. There he goes. That's Gaburiyori. And Daesho has no answer. Frontal push-out. Next up, it is Shodai 6 and 7, meeting Tamawashi also 6 wins and 7 losses. A flawless performance is required for Shodai in the last two days to make his Kachikoshi. That goes same for Tamawashi. Shodai fends Tamawashi off. He plows ahead. Shodai keeps going after him. Tamawashi resisting and he breaks Shodai's balance and pushes him down. Good shoving match by the two, but a second consecutive Make Koshi for Shodai, a losing record performance for this man. Six and eight. Tamawashi still got pulse. He can make his kachikoshi tomorrow. He's now 7-7. Seven and seven. Shodai absorbs the charge. He goes forward. Tamawashi unable to move Shodai back. Shodai breaks Tamawashi's balance. He goes after him. Shodai counters. Look at Tamawashi's footwork, and he is very, very stable. His lower body. And he breaks Shodai's balance, and he goes. It is Tochi Ozan, five wins and eight losses against Taka Keisho, eight and five. 
Taka Keisho beat the tournament leader Goedo last night. He also has a win over Yokozuna Harumafuji this time. Very impressive. Tochi Ozan on the right. This is opponent Tochi Ozan looking for his first win over Taka Keisho. He is 0-3 against him. Taka Keisho wants to push Tochi Ozan back, but Tochi Ozan refuses to go anywhere and he knocks Taka Keisho back and out. Tochi Ozan beats Taka Keisho for the first time. Taka Keisho now falls to 8 and 6. Tochi Ozan, in the meantime, gets his win number 6, 6 and 8. Taka Keisho is a hard pusher thruster, but Tochi Ozan does a nice job of staying right where he is, not going backwards, and he gets the pushing attack going and gets the win by Oshidashi. It's Yoshikaze facing off Arawashi. They are both at 8 and 5 after 13 days. Yoshikaze came up short against Harumafuji yesterday, but he still has a chance to finish the competition with a double-digit winning record. Arawashi has now scored back-to-back -back Kachikoshi. The Mongolian is becoming a steady performer. A strange touch eye by the two. Yoshikaze gains an inside position and goes. Arawashi counters with an unlock throw at the edge. Who's the winner? The Gyoji says it's Arawashi, but we're going to have a Monoida conference by the judges. I think the question is, who went down to the deck first? Arawashi hits the arm lock throw. Yoshikaze staying in the air, staying in the air. But Yoshikaze's right elbow hits the deck first, apparently. Allow me to explain what we just discussed. The Gyoji gave the match to Arawashi, but we decided that the two Rikishi hit the deck at the same time, so we're going to have a rematch. This is the rematch. Here we go. Arawashi slams into Yoshikaze and brings Yoshikaze down. So Yoshikaze suffers his sixth defeat. Arawashi advances to nine and five. Very impressive. Arawashi with a very sharp initial charge in the second match, right here, the rematch. And Yoshikaze was taken down immediately. Hikiotoshi. Now here is our tournament leader, Goedo. Ten wins and three losses. He's up against Takanoiwa, eight and five. Goedo has now lost two straight matches, and his lead has shrunk to just one. Without a doubt, he's in a must-win situation. Taka Noiwa, his opponent, is no pushover. And Haruma Fuji, who's one of the pace, is right along the ringside. Here we go. Goedo charges and takes Taka Noiwa. No! The Gyoji stops the match. Says the Tashiya initial charge was not correctly done, so we'll do it over. Take two. Here they go. No! The Gyoji stops it again, saying Goedo is not touching his both fists on the dojo. Goedo must touch his both fists on the ground before they fight. So here we go. Will they get it right? It is a shoving match. Goedo goes forward. Takanoiwa slips to the side. Goedo gets an inside position. Takanoiwa backpedals and Goedo finishes him off. Goedo wins. And Goedo keeps his Three loss record, and he stays on top.
Goedo wins for the first time in three days. And he keeps his three-loss record, and he keeps the pressure on Haruma Fuji. Takanoi was staying very low, fending off Goedo's charge. Goedo I mean, unable to bring him up and get an inside position, so Goedo shoves Takanoiwa to the edge. Takanoiwa with a good footwork. Takanoiwa now counters. Takanoiwa attempts to slap down. Goedo stays on his feet. Goedo looking for a shallow inside grip, and he gets a deep right hand, and he attacks. Watashi Komi win. Here we go, the final match of the day. Haruma Fuji 9 and 4 against Mita Kiyomi 7 and 6. Haruma Fuji has to win here to keep the championship race alive. If he loses here, Goedo clinches his second championship. Here is Goedo. Watching Haruma Fuji's match against Mita Kiyomi. Mita Kiyomi is known for slaying the giant. The two clinch in the middle of the dojo. Haruma Fuji has a firm grip, but Mitakemi has a double inside grip. The two remain stationary. Haruma Fuji attacks and goes forward and beats Mitakemi. Haruma Fuji remains at four losses. And the battle for the Empress Cup will go down to the wire into the final match on day 15. Haruma Fuji now 10 and 4. Yorikiri force a win by the Yokozuna. Yokozuna has a double outside grip. That's a disadvantageous position, but he disallowed Mita Kiyomi from doing anything today. Mita Kiyomi unable to initiate his drive. Haruma Fuji finishes him off. So after all, it's coming down to the battle of two titans. Goedo versus Haruma Fuji for all the marbles on the final day. Here they are, Goedo on top, Haruma Fuji right behind Goedo at one of the pace. Make sure you do not miss the final showdown between the two. Sayonara! <laughs>